Hey there. Today in this session I will summarize conditions and loops with the FizzBuzz problem. In the last session we discussed what all conditions and loops we can use and what are the other conditional, non-conditional, and looping constructs we have. FizzBuzz program is just a fun play game that is used to print certain output like Fizz, Buzz or FizzBuzz based on some conditions. Consider we have a set of numbers, and we are supposed to check if each number between a range. Let's say to it. If the number is divisible by, then you need to say fizz. If the number is divisible by, you need to say buzz. But if the number is divisible by and a, then it is saying fizz buzz. If none of the number gets divided by and a bow, then you just say the next number. If the number does not satisfy any of these conditions, we will just print the number just like this. A not divisible fizz which is the third number, buzz, which is the fifth number. Wherever the a will come. Because that is divisible by and above. So it prints the fizz buzz both. I hope the requirement is clear to all of you. Let's try to understand it practically. First of all, I'm going to scan the value so that I need a scanner object. Passing the system and inside it will give a message, enter number. Scanner next integer that I would like to assign it into a number. Here I will execute a loop that will start from and goes till i less than or equals to the number that you enter. Let's say to it. In each iteration the number will increase by 1. Here I'm going to check if i is divisible by equals to and i is divisible by equals to. I just wanted to print fizzbuzz. And else if i is divisible by only, this will print. As else if i is divisible by equals to then it will just simply print fizz. As I said, if number is not divisible by or any of them I just wanted to print the number. That's what I want. In each iteration I wanted to give some extra space. Let's first check this iteration by passing up the number. I entered the number. For a times, the output comes and a fizz is coming in the place of a because number is divisible by. Is divisible by that's what is there. Is divisible by that's what is there. At last, I is divisible in between of the range of a two I is divisible by and above. That's what fizzbuzz is getting printed. I hope the case study is clear to all of you. These are the standard case studies that will help you to understand what you have learned and how to put on the logics by your own. Thank you so much. Stay tuned to learn more about the practical implementations in Java. See you in the next session.